Well, thank you everybody for joining us today and good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. Um, welcome to the testing and deployment workshop. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of OKD. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, an overview, talk a little bit about where we are current state of OKD, uh, spend a little bit of time talking about operators and the operator hub, and then finally um, leave you with a whole bunch of links and references so for how you can get in contact with us. So OKD, what is it? It is a community distribution of Kubernetes, but it's actually more than that. It's a community distribution of Kubernetes that is actually built off of the OpenShift code base. So it's, it is the same code that you are running in your data center or on your cloud provider if you are a Red Hat OpenShift subscriber. This code base is what we build OKD from with, with very little, if any, variation. The only variation, really, is the fact that rather than running on the Red Hat Core OS, we're running on the upstream of Red Hat Core OS, which is the Fedora Core OS. So you've got the OpenShift code base with uh, Fedora Core OS as the underlying operating system. And as Diane mentioned earlier, you can reach us at okd.io to find documentation, reference materials, uh, and code-ready containers built from OKD, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. So like I said, this is a community distribution, it means it is built and supported by a community, um, some of whom you're seeing on your screen right now. The, uh, the whole premise behind OpenShift as sort of a Kubernetes plus uh, distribution is that automation is king. Automation for installation, automation for patching and updates, and automation for resiliency and recovery in your data center or your cloud platform. The like any other Kubernetes distribution, its heart and soul is really the orchestration of applications and services that provide value for your business or your organization. Um, underlying that is base Kubernetes, the, the platform, the cluster management, the security, the monitoring, embedded registry, everything that you expect from, from a Kubernetes distribution with a, a twist of additional automation provided by the, the OpenShift++. Uh, as I mentioned, Fedora Core OS is the underlying operating system on which the whole thing is built. And Fedora Core OS itself brings a, a lot of what provides the automation and the resiliency to OKD as a Kubernetes distribution. You can run this on just about any platform you can imagine. Um, we're not quite to uh, ARM64, but you can bet there are people who care about ARM64 and would love to see this thing running on the edge. So right now, all of the major cloud platforms, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, GCP, the Google Cloud Platform, you can run this on OpenStack, you can run it on Overt, and as some folks are going to demonstrate today, you can run it on VMware and bare metal. So let's talk a bit about where we are today. We've actually come quite a long ways since the major shift a couple years ago from OKD 3.11 to the OpenShift 4 that OKD 4 is built on. We are currently in our 4.7 release with 4.8 not too far out on the horizon. Um, we've been taking a lot of community contributions that are improving this platform and making it much richer as we continue to evolve. We've got active collaboration established now between both the Fedora communities for our underlying operating system, as well as folks who are contributing to the operator hub, uh, which we'll, we'll talk a bit more about here in a couple of slides. Um, there are 
quite a number of bespoke operators that are now available for OKD to provide all kinds of value add for your clusters. And one of the things that this platform really allows you to do outside of like a subscription-based OpenShift is enabling early adoption of upcoming technologies, especially with the underlying Fedora Core OS. You get a preview of, of what's coming down the road, which sometimes can bring a extra level of excitement, but always brings an extra level of functionality that you can take advantage of. And we've also just recently, oh, it was probably six months ago, I'm, I believe it was this summer, we, we got Code Ready Containers um, finally released for OKD4. Code Ready Containers um, for OKD is based on the Code Ready Containers code base uh, for OpenShift. So, so just like everything else that we do um, with Red Hat, it's all open source. It, it all accepts community contributions. It enables you to run a single node OpenShift cluster on your laptop or workstation. So it gives you all the goodness that you get with an OKD4 cluster and Fedora Core OS on your local workstation. You just have to add your code. Um, one quick note on that, the, the Code Ready Containers release that is currently um, hanging off of our OKD.io site is still uh, built on 4.6. If you're watching a recording of this video, uh, it's very likely that the 4.7 release is out. So those of you who are watching us live, um, look for the 4.7 of Code Ready Containers to, to be available here within the next week or two, hopefully within the next couple of days. Vadim and I are working on a couple of things that, that we got to get in place so that uh, the, the build will run off of some fairly significant changes to the underlying Fedora Core OS and a couple of the operators that we need to update the, the code base to support CRC. So look for that to come very soon. Operators, operators are what make OKD run. In fact, the very first thing that happens when you're bootstrapping an OKD cluster is an operator is taking control to coordinate the rest of the installation. Operators provide infrastructure as code with intelligence behind them that monitors the state of the resources that the operator owns and is responsible for ensuring the stability, the resiliency, as well as the patching and updating. So operators are like a, a bundled system administrator that is always with you, always watching the application and ensuring that it continues to run. Uh, the core of OKD is built on operators so everything that provides the functionality from etcd up is, is controlled by operators. But operators also bring value add. So if you need Rook Ceph as a storage provisioner, well, there's an operator for that. Your internal image registry is an operator. If you need a Kafka cluster, there's a StrimZ operator. Uh, if you need a service mesh, well, there's an operator for that too. So operators are a way to bundle the capabilities that give your applications uh, the the added richness resiliency and capability that you need so that as a provider of software solutions all you have to focus on is your code and let the operator take care of everything else the operator hub is where you can go to to retrieve these and install them into your local cluster. When you have a cluster up and running, the operator hub will be there. And from the console, you can navigate to the operator hub and go shopping. When you stand up an OKD4 cluster, all of the operators that are available, you will be able to install uh, free of charge. There are not subscription-based operators uh, in there. They will be the community-supported versions of the operators that you would see if you had a subscription-based OpenShift cluster. So if you need Grafana or Strimzy or Service Mesh with Istio, they will all be there and installable from the operator hub.
Now, another quick caveat on that. We, we are still working with several of the, the um, operator providers to ensure that the community version of the operator is available in Operator Hub. So some of them you do still have to go to the, the GitHub repo or um, wherever the operator lives to get the installation materials for it. But as we continue to evolve this ecosystem, more and more of those operators will be there. And when you get your cluster up and running, you'll see that there's already a very, very rich set of operators available. Finally, we'd like to invite you to come join us. This is a community-driven ecosystem. We're very active, the OKD working group and the Fedora Core OS working group. Uh, we have several members actually that participate in both uh, to a greater or lesser extent. You can find the OKD working group at the following links, which I'll leave up on your screen for, for just a few seconds. So you can screen grab or type down whatever you need to do to find us. We also have a calendar that will give you access to our biweekly meetings. They are open, so please come and join us. And the same thing goes for the Fedora Core OS working group that is available at these links. And again, please come and join us if you're interested in edge networking, if you're interested in seeing uh, ARM64, or if you're interested in seeing this run on other metal platforms, come and join us and contribute your knowledge, your skills, and your time to our efforts. We are a community-led organization. And the final thing I'll leave you with is a list of links where you can access our resources and come and talk to us. And with that, I'll say thank you.